a new lease of life for Evans's home. Welcome to the new Butler Gallery at Evans's home. The completion of this restoration project by Kilkenny County Council in collaboration with the Butler Gallery adds yet another example of the adaptive reuse of an historic building. Evans's home or asylum was founded in 1818 on the site of a military barracks and former 13th century Augustinian priory. The building as an architectural landmark was largely hidden from view at the end of Barrack Lane and many only became aware of its existence when the main construction works began in June 2018. This relatively austere but beautifully detailed H-shaped building has been carefully conserved as can be seen in the pair of elegant curving limestone staircases. Existing joinery and finishes are maintained where possible with complementary modern interventions such as in the gallery reception area. Existing stone flagged flooring was restored and relayed in hallways and corridors on the ground floor and lime plaster work was repaired throughout. The north wing now houses the new learning centre at ground floor level with climate controlled gallery space overhead. Throughout the building there are echoes of the past, such as some blackened fireplaces and evidence of layers of old historic paint, known as pentimentos or paint memories. The transition between the old building and new addition is marked by an interpretation room, which leads into the accessible vertical circulation route and toilets designed to universal standards. The glazed links frame the views across the new public space to the city skyline on the opposite side of the river to the front and the enclosed gardens to the rear of the building. The new concrete metal clad addition comprises two small two-storey boxes and its form and materials simultaneously in contrast and complementary to the original stone building. The galleries at first floor, which has the permanent anomaly collections, are finished to modern museum standards, incorporating the conserved historic fabric such as timber flooring, limestone fireplaces, and a number of original windows and joinery, alongside the necessary modern technology and services. The cafe, which is centrally located in the, in the building, just off reception, is also the gateway to the main gallery in the south wing. It is a light-filled space with windows on both east and west sides, offering access to a secluded outdoor patio, which overlooks the ruins of St. John's Priory to the rear, as well as views across the city to the front. Original and recycled materials are in evidence on the kitchen wall leading to the south wing. Finally, we entered the main gallery. The Butler Gallery brief called for a large gallery to have temporary exhibitions, which needed to be a tall, box-like, flexible space. This space was cleverly carved out from eight cellular rooms and two narrow corridors in the south wing to form a double-height temporary gallery, which is in marked contrast with the series of interlinked domestic-scale spaces throughout the rest of the building. The ruins of the late medieval St. John's Priory and early 19th century First Fruits Church of Ireland Church form a spectacular backdrop to the new cafe patio and sculpture garden. This project has transformed the existing building, its gardens and boundary walls into a destination for art, archaeology, history, education and leisure and brings a significant building in the city's history back into public use.